Hi students, this is a reading to go along with week 7 of our distance English homework. This is probably the most challenging academic reading we have done so far in our spring distance English practice. So we are finishing our spring semester on a very challenging note. However, don't let this discourage you from attempting, from reading through, pulling out some new vocabulary. Remember the first rule of an academic reading is to catch that big idea. Do you understand the big idea? Can you skip some of the unknown vocabulary and still get a feeling of the main idea of the story? I encourage you to have your notebook by your side so that you can pause the video and write down any new vocabulary. Remember, you can always make a recording of yourself speaking new vocabulary, compare it to my pronunciation in this video, and make a small self-analysis on your pronunciation. So let's jump right into this reading. This reading is titled Teenagers Who Don't Get Enough Sleep at Higher Risk for Mental Health Problems, written by Tony Rodriguez in 2015. The first paragraph here gives a short summary of the story before we get into the main reading. It says the average teenager doesn't get enough sleep, and the consequences might be greater than just nodding off in class. In this informational text, Tori Rodriguez discusses the effect of not getting enough sleep on teenagers' mental health. As you read, take notes on how teens are affected when they don't get enough sleep. Many studies have examined the effects of sufficient versus insufficient sleep on mental health. A new study published in February in the Journal of Youth and Adolescence takes a more nuanced look attempting to determine just how much each hour less per night really costs, where teenagers are concerned. The researchers surveyed an ethnically diverse sample of 27,939 suburban high school students in Virginia. Although teenagers need about nine hours of sleep a night on average, according to the National Institutes of Health, only 3% of students reported getting that amount and 20% of participants indicated that they got five hours or less. The average amount reported was 6.5 hours every weekday night. After controlling for background variables, such as family status and income, the researchers determined that each hour of lost sleep was associated with a 38% increase in the odds of feeling sad and hopeless, a 42% increase in considering suicide, a 58% increase in suicide attempts, and a 23% increase in substance abuse. These correlational findings do not prove that lack of sleep is causing these problems. Certainly, the reverse can be true. Depression and anxiety can cause insomnia. But the majority of the research evidence supports the casual direction being lack of sleep leading to problems rather than the other way around says study co-author Adam Winsler, a psychology professor at George Mason University. Sleep deficits reduce brain function, further disturbing areas in which even well-rested adolescents struggle, executive function, self-control, and judgment. Parents, educators, and therapists need to pay attention to the role of sleep in preventing mental illness among youth, Winsler said. Its effect is likely larger than most therapies and medications. One interesting piece that you should pay attention to through this article are these small upper numbers next to specific words. For example, we see the word nuanced with a small number one next to it. Further below, we see the word correlational with a small number two insomnia, a small number three, deficits, a small number four, and the word function, a small number five. What these small numbers show us 
is that the definition for these words is included in what is called a footnote. So we see down below the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we look back above, the number 1 word was nuanced, a more nuanced look. The word nuanced meaning slight distinction, slight variation, a slight change. Take some more nuanced look, a slight change of a look. Correlational, number two, a relationship or connection between two things based on a pattern of change. These correlational findings, findings connected by two things from a pattern of change. Number three, insomnia, inability to sleep, deficit, a lack or shortage, sleep deficits, a lack of sleep, a shortage of sleep. Our last word noted here is the word function, the set of mental skills that help you to plan, focus, remember instructions. Sorry, this should be executive function together. Executive function, the set of mental skills that help you to plan, focus, remember instructions, and perform multiple tasks. As you are reading this academic article, you can see these small notes that will help you to understand a little bit stronger. Besides these five, what other vocabulary was new for you? Post the vocabulary in the comments under the video. Are you surprised by this research that a lack of sleep could potentially lead to mental health problems for teenagers? Have you seen this happen? Or have you seen this affect teenagers in your own lives? Let me know in the comments any new vocabulary, any questions you have about this reading. Until next time, students. Bye.